Hey guys, welcome back. So about to check out episode 4 of Alien Isolation. So far we have had Amanda trying to find her mom. She's encountered the alien on multiple occasions. She's actually just got attacked, but she's recovered and now she's with some other team members from the Whalen yutani Corporation. She found the flight recorder, the files were corrupted, so there's no information for her to kind of find out what happened to her mom, Ellen Ripley, who we all know is in hypersleep drifting through space somewhere. In the special edition of James Cameron's Aliens, there is a scene where Ellen Ripley is informed that her daughter Amanda has actually died of old age. But anyway, let's dive in. Episode 4 of Alien Isolation. 3, 2, 1, go. Really loving the, the opening credits as well. They've done that really well. Isolation. We were in transit. We found the flight recorder in open space. I knew it must have come from a ship in trouble, so I widened our search radius. Then we picked up a signal from a planetoid in the sector. A beacon. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. We landed in the middle of a real storm. We had to check the signal out on foot, but I couldn't ignore a score like that. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Sub-zero temperature, the planet. low visibility. From the first movie. You get me, Lewis? A little fuzzy, Marlowe, but you're coming through. Foster, you seeing this? Oh my god. Holy shit. Nice, nice call back. It's amazing. How old must this be? Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. Marlo, it, it's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property, salvage rights. Marlo? We found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. Same name that's on the flight recorder. Nostromo. Someone's already been here. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. Marla, you have got to see this. It's amazing. This place just keeps on giving. Oh my god. Awesome. Still creepy. Warning, face huggers about. Don't do it. Foster! Do it. Foster! Marlo's story meant my mother had been to that planetoid, and her crew had found the eggs. And what happened to her, it was too terrible to think about. Orbit has taken me to the dark side of the planet. If anyone is out there listening, you may lose me. Testing my lamps. Perfect. I'm still here. Don't worry. I knew Marla was hiding something. I want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait! My board in the tech spire just lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need.
Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Cystech Spire. I'll coordinate from here. There was an explanation for my mother's disappearance now. She could have come home, but instead, she stopped to chase another payday. It confirmed everything I believed, and everything mm. I feared. With my mother, it was always the job first. Then everything else. My stepdad always said she was made that way. I don't think that's true. She chose. It's not sure. Ripley, you on your way? Yeah. Ricardo's moving in ahead of you. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android Processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm gonna get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. Samuels okay doing that? Guy said he wanted to help and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. I guess. Look, Ripley, we're the only people standing between Sevastopol and outright disaster. Outright disaster has already happened, Waits. All we can do now is kill that fucker. So, you build a cage around the creature, then Ricardo locks it down. Wait. The lab can be separated from the main station. Bring it back online, and systems can reconnect. Another dead dude. I set up an emergency shutdown at the terminal inside the server farm. You need to trigger it from there, and get out. I'll keep your exit open till you're through, then shut the trap. Oh, hey. It's a good look. It's a good look though. The design's really creepy and cool. With the glowing eyes. Something's moving. Security lockdown initiated. That's it. You got it. Get my exit open, Ricardo. Face is gone. Wait a minute, Ricardo. Is my exit clear? Jesus, it's shut. It won't move. What are you doing, Ricardo? Fix it. I'm sorry, Ripley. I'm working on it. <laughs> For me, I need more time. I don't have more time. <laughs> Such a beautiful design. <laughs> this must have been terrifying to play. Ricardo, how did you open it back up? I had to suppress the alert. It was the only way to get Ripley out. You let it out? We had it locked down, and you let it out? Thanks for your concern, Waits. <laughs> Take the elevator to Gemini Labs. If it follows, we can still trap it there. Ripley, Ricardo, we can't let it escape again, no matter what. Jesus Christ! Wait, I made it. Is it still after you? It's just waiting Wait. for it to jump out. It's here. <laughs> Where should I go? Wait! Wait! I'm sorry, Ripley. Facility jettison procedures underway. No! No! Don't fucking do this to me! Ugh. He was ejecting the lab with me and the creature inside. This is not cool. Fucking trapped me with this thing! It's like I said, you can't count on anyone. You son of a bitch.
shoot. To be continued again. Okay, so what I really like about this is they're using the alien from the original film, like the traditional man in suit alien from that first one. Uh, the design by H.R. Geiger is incredible. It's terrifying in its design and yet beautiful at the same time. And he created an iconic Hollywood creature. This monster is. I love. I love the. I love the alien franchise. And I love all iterations of this thing, the face hugger, the, the chest burster. What they designed is just iconic stuff. But I really love how they got little snippets of the alien just kind of like standing up from the iconic scene in that first film when the alien first kind of presents itself. It just kind of like stands and uncurls and stands up. I've noticed that is used a couple of times in this rendering as well. So that's very cool. So they're on point with, with staying true to the original idea of the alien and the true vision of what Ridley Scott gave us all those years ago. So if you're a fan of the game, you've played this game, right, and you're watching this with me, have you seen the movies? If you've not seen Alien and Aliens, at least, stop what you're doing and go watch them because they're incredible. The first one is so, so scary. It's amazing. And it's recently been remastered on Blu-ray, so it looks stunning. It really does. I'm hoping it gets a 4K release one day. That would be amazing. And of course, James Cameron, he always delivers spectacles on screen so aliens is a really really cool follow-up yeah should you round it off with david finch's alien 3 yeah it's not as good as the other two for me it's it's a really good trilogy resurrection you can kind of just you don't need to prometheus and alien covenant really do kind of stray far far away of what that original alien film was ridley scott really wanted to kind of like delve into the history of what the alien creature was and you know explain where it came from and all that so there's something to be said about mystery in movies like the scary thing not knowing about it a la michael myers the more you dive into the history and what makes this thing tick you lose that that edge so prometheus and alien covenant they're beautiful films but i don't necessarily re regard them very highly as great alien films so I think Ridley Scott is wanting, is planning to do a third one, which kind of plays directly into Alien. Uh, but as far as prequels go, you're always going to have that kind of problem with, you know, we know it's coming. So it's kind of hard to be, it's hard to build any suspense. And then you kind of do obliterate all that suspense by explaining everything down to the nitty gritty. So there's that. But this I'm really enjoying. It's a nice little snippet from the Alien franchise that we haven't really explored before. Amanda Ripley and her exploration as to what happened to her mother. I can imagine playing this game in a darkened room would be really scary as hell. So that would have been fun. The reaction videos I saw of gamers playing it, there was a lot of screaming and, and shrieking. So that has been downplayed a little bit just watching it as a series. So you haven't got that investment in the characters as much as like when you're playing a game as, as opposed to just watching the cutscenes. But having said that, I'm having a blast. This is cool. So I've just done episode four. We've got episode five, six, and seven to go. Hope you stick around. Thank you so much for dropping by. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.